थ्री मैन एंड फाइव वुमेन कैन टूगेदर फिनिश द जॉब इन थ्री डेज वर्किंग ऑन द सेम जॉब थ्री वुमेन टेक फाइव डेज मोर देन द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड बाई टू मैन वॉट इज द रेशियो ऑफ द एफिशियंसी ऑफ अ मैन टू अ वुमेन सो टाइम एंड वर्क क्लियरली थ्री मैन एंड फाइव वुमेन कैन टूगेदर डू द जॉब इन थ्री डेज ओके देन वेन द सेम जॉब इज बींग डन बाई ओनली मैन और ओनली वुमेन वी फाइंड दैट थ्री वुमेन टेक फाइव डेज मोर देन द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड बाई टू मैन राइट थ्री वुमेन टेक फाइव डेज मोर देन द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड बाई टू मैन न बेस्ड ऑन दिस डेटा वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द यू नो रेशियो ऑफ द एफिशियंसी ऑफ अ मैन टू वुमेन राइट यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज एफिशियंसी राइट एफिशियंसी इज नथिंग बट कैपैसिटी कैपैसिटी इज नथिंग बट वन बाई नंबर ऑफ डेज राइट सो यू नो इन इन सिंपल वर्ड्स एफिशियंसी ऑफ अ मैन डिवाइड बाई एफिशियंसी ऑफ अ वुमेन here would mean number of days required by women or number of days required by women to the number of days required by a man so if you can find out the number of days required by one woman and the number of days required by one man to do this job the the job that is talking about then you can take the reciprocal of that ratio to get the efficiency ratio because capacity is reciprocal of the number of days right if you are taking more number of days means your capacity is less when you take less number of days means your capacity is more all right so this is what we need to work on basically the idea is to find out the number of days required by a uh, man versus number of days required by a woman now what can we do here let us let us try to frame the equations i think it's about two equations right two equations and two unknowns so uh three men and five women together can finish the job in three days i see working on the same job three women take five days more than the time required by two men Like I said, if options were given, maybe we could have tried something. But since options are not there, we'll have to uh, what do we do? See, let us let us assume that. Uh, I mean, when you look at three men and five women, they together can finish the job in three days. Can I say the total work is equal to three m plus five w into Into three, right? Total work is equal to three m plus five w into three. Yeah. Then working on the same job, three women take five days more than the time required by two men. Mm. So this is the total work. Now, if this total work is being done by three women, they take five days more than the time required by two men. Okay, so this is the total work. I think, uh, I mean, I'll show you what could have been done if options are there. Of course, it will not be applicable here because options are not available with us. But what could have been done? We have found that the total work is three m plus five w into three, which is basically nine m plus fifteen w, right or not? The total work is nine m plus fifteen w, right? Number of persons into number of days. Now, uh, you know, the the second statement says that the time required by three men, uh, three women, time required by Three women is equal to time required by two men plus five days. Time required by three men, three women, is equal to time required by two men, two men plus five days because they take five days more than the time required by two men. Now, how can you find out the time? See, time is nothing but total work. See, total work is this divided by number of persons doing the work. It will be equal to. Let's let's use a different logic now. I mean, different logic meaning you know that time is equal to work done by the number of persons it it is like this no we know that work work is equal to number of persons doing the work into the time that they take so from this can we say time is equal to the work divided by number of persons yes we usually don't use this for solving the regular type of questions in uh, bank exams from this topic but here this technique would help us i guess right let us assume that i mean not assume but we know that time is equal to work by number of persons so can you see the time required by three women is equal to see the work is always the same the work that they are going to do is 9m plus 15w so 9m plus 15w by 3w number of persons doing the work is 3w equals to 9m plus 15w by 2m plus 5 that's it this is what is enough for us to get the answer 
if options are given to us. Of course, here in this case, options have not been given. But if options are given, you can just use this to get the answer. Now, what do you have to do? In options, some ratio would be given, right? Substitute that ratio. You can, you can simplify it further. If you want, you can cross multiply and do all that drama, but not needed. From the options, pick up the ratio. Like for example, let's say in one of the options, the ratio of, I mean, I'm just considering a example, right? It may not be the uh, real one, but let's say in one of the options, he says men is to women is equal to uh, one is to three. So what you do is substitute one in place of M and three in place of W in this entire equation. If it satisfies, that's the answer. If it doesn't satisfy, go for the next one. Then let's say second option says M is to W is equal to two is to five, like what you have said, right? Two is to five. Then substitute two in place of M, W uh, five in place of W and check. If it is balanced, if this equation is balanced, it's the correct answer. Otherwise, it's the wrong answer. And I'm sure this calculation will not take in much time. You just have to quickly substitute and verify. I mean. Mental calculations can be done for the left hand side and for the right hand side. Just do that and get the answer. If options are given, but here options have not been given. So I think, but anyway, when you go for bank exams or SS exams, options would be given to you. So this is how you can use the options to get the answer. Now let me tell you why, why did I mention that two is to five is the wrong answer. Most of you had marked two is to five as the wrong, uh, as the answer, right? And I told you that two is to five is wrong because in, in my view, I mean, I did not solve the question then. But what I felt was you are not using the basic logic. See, if options are given, we can also go for elimination without doing anything here, without starting to put pen on paper, you can also eliminate some of the options. Why, why am I saying so? Understand, if you look at the second part, it says three women will take five days more than two men. Who is taking longer? Three women are taking longer than compared to two men. Even if you assume that instead of two men, we have three men here. Let us assume that instead of two men, we have three men here. So what happens? Three women take five days more than three men. For some time, assume that it is three men. So three women take five days more than three men, which means clearly women are taking more time than men. And if women are taking more time, their capacity should be less. Basic understanding, right? Efficiency and capacity, efficiency and number of days are inversely proportional. So if women take more time, their capacity should be less. So women's capacity should be less. And moreover, the number of men here are lesser. It's not three, it's actually two. We had assumed that it is three. Now, if you if you consider this real scenario, three women take five days more than two men means what? Their capacity is actually much lesser than the capacity of a man. So what I can say, when you find out the ratio, what is he asking us to find out efficiency of a man to that of women? Clearly, the, the value on the first side of the ratio should be more than the second side. If the ratio is m is to w or a is to b let's say a has to be greater than w no doubt about it a has to be greater than w in 2 is to 5 all those who have marked 2 is to 5 basic condition is failing 2 is lesser than 5 you know that a should be greater than b a should be greater than b and listen a is the capacity a refers to the capacity of man efficiency of man b refers to the efficiency of women so even if you verify this basic condition in the options maybe four of the options will get eliminated directly and if four options are eliminated without even putting pen on paper we can solve it you're getting it without even putting pen on paper you can solve it if efficiency uh, condition is not satisfied by the options that's the first thing that you'll have to verify that is the reason i said two is to five seems wrong two is to five was looking wrong so this is what can be done is that clear to all of you have you all followed this did you all follow this? I see Nagaraj commenting that three men plus five women into three is equal to three women plus X men into five. By X, we can find capacity. I don't know what exactly you're trying to do, Nagaraj. So shall we go for the next one? See, one thing, I mean, we have not completed the solution because options are not there. If options are there, just substitute the options and get the answer. Otherwise, the other way to solve this question would be longer. You'll have to frame two equations and solve those two equations. Here, we have not framed two equations. We have only one equation. We have only one equation. We are trying to substitute the options here. But because the first one is not an equation. I mean, don't say that W equals to 9M plus 15W is also an equation. Because this is total work. We have no clue about what total work is. So, Srikant, if you can quickly acknowledge your understanding of this, I'll move to the next one. Or if you guys feel that any anyway, options are not there, we cannot verify, give a different solution, then I'll give you the two equations that you'll have to form to get the answer. Anyway, what I'll do is, I'll show you, I mean, I'll just write the equations. You can solve it yourself. I'll show you the other way also, the second way of solving this question. What we have done is the correct one. You should ideally do this, but let me explain the second method. Simple, I'll write down the two equations, solve those two equations. Because most of you I saw was 
uh, we are using wrong set of equations. So let us assume that the number of days required by a man, the number of days required by a man is m, and number of days required by a woman to do this job is w. The first equation says three men and five women together can finish the job in three days. Are you able to follow? Three men plus five women together can finish a job in three days. See what is the capacity of a man? See go by unitary method. Try to frame the unitary equation. If man takes m days, his capacity will be 1 by 3. How many such men are working? 3 men. So capacity will become 3 times. If woman takes w days, capacity of the woman will be 1 by w. How many women are working? 5. So it will be 5 times. Their total work is equal to 1 unit. Unitary method means what? I mean that's what we do, right? Consider the total work as 1 unit. So capacity of a man multiplied by 3 because 3 men are working. Capacity of a woman multiplied by 5 because 5 women are working will lead us to 1. Total capacity will be equal to 1. I mean total work done will be equal to 1. This is equation number 1. What is the other equation? Other equation is simple. Other equation will be a linear equation. This is like a fractional equation, right? M and W have come in denominator. The other equation will be straight. He says three women take five days more required by, uh, I mean three women take five days more than the time required by two men. How will you form the equation for this one? How will you form the equation for this one? Three women take five days more than the time required by two men. Try to form the second equation. Three women take five days more than the time required by you are getting it. See, what do we do? Uh, you know, the second equation would be like this three women. I think we can take W by 3 will be equal to M by 2 plus 5. W by 3 equals to M by 2 plus 5. Try to solve this. I mean, solving these two equations again is not going to be easy. I know it's going to be complex. But I mean, that's the only way if you don't have options. Right? I hope all of you have understood the logic behind this. And w by 3 equals to m by 2 plus 5. See, it's like this. One woman will take w days is what we have assumed. So capacity of each woman will be 1 by 3. When three women are working together, the total capacity will be 3 times, which is equal to 3 by w. So for three women, the total capacity is 3 by w. Implies the number of days required will be w by 3. Similarly, for two men, the total capacity will be 2 by m, implies the number of days required will be m by 2. So number of days required by three women, w by 3, is equal to number of days required by five, uh, two men, m by 2, plus 5, because they take 5 days more. So all these two equations and you will get the answer. Are you able to follow? Solve these two equations. Understand, the same variable m and w is being used in both the equations. The first equation is a unitary one where we say number of days uh, into the capacity of each person will lead us to total work of one, one unit. The second equation is for the number of days required when a group is working. So this is a work equation. The first one is a work equation. The second one is a days equation. But both are in terms of the same variables m and w. So that is the point here. The first one is a work equation, right? It, it denotes the total work. Total work one unit is three times the capacity of a man plus five times the capacity of a woman. The second equation is number of days equation. So if one woman take W days, three women will take three, uh, W by three days. Yes or no? If three women are working, then number of days required will be W by three. Similarly, when two men are working, number of days required will be M by two. But then number of days required by three women is equal to number of days required by two men plus five. Solve these two equations, you'll get the required answer. Okay? So two ways, preferably use this one, if options are given to you.